watch it, jerk. Shut up, idiot. Moron. Scab eater. Butt sniffer. Yeah. Puss licker. Fart yeah. smeller. You bob for apples in the toilet. And you like it. You play ball like a girl. As any guy who spent any time at all in the jock universe will tell you, from childhood forward, two great fears keep boys and men in line. One is the nightmare of being called a girl. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all play like some little girls. Y'all like y'all know play football before. Tom Brady, if you're listening, take off the skirt and put on some slacks. Toughen up. Wow. And beyond this kind of sexism, the second great fear that binds the jockocracy together is homophobia. Even though we, we may think it's not a big deal in our society, the reality is there's still a lot of homophobia that exists. In sports, it's about a macho of an environment as we have to offer in American culture. Like sexism, homophobia is everywhere in sports. So you have someone like John Smoltz, future Hall of Fame pitcher, who compared gay marriage to bestiality by saying, What's next, marrying an animal? Or repeat offender Jeremy Shockey of the Saints, who said that he wouldn't stand for having a gay guy on his team because they're gonna be in the shower with us. It looks amazing. As with sexism, this kind of homophobia functions to maintain a certain ideal of normal manhood by dehumanizing other people. And in the process, it keeps gay athletes in the closet. So it shouldn't be any surprise that to date, no active player in the big three men's sports, baseball, basketball, football, has dared admit he was gay. John Amici played for seven seasons in the National Basketball Association. Then in 2007, he became the first former NBA player to come out of the closet. But if we end up being open and accepting of homosexuals in sports, will we not then begin to become uh, open and accepting of homosexuals in other walks of life? I mean, I, I, I'm just saying it's a slippery slope. Uh, you will admit it's a slippery slope. I'm hoping it's a very slippery slope. Okay. Yes, I'm hoping so. By coming out, Amici joined the likes of baseball player Billy Bean and NFL offensive lineman Esera Tuolo. But all these guys waited until retirement to come out of the closet. Why is that? Well, let's consider how former NBA All-Star Tim Hardaway responded to Amici's announcement. Oh, well, you know, I, you know, I hate gay people, so, um, uh, you know, I, I let it be known. I don't like gay people. I don't like to be around gay people. I don't, you know, I, I, yeah, I'm, homo, I'm homophobic. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. It, it shouldn't be in the world for that or in the, in the United States for it. So, yeah, I, I don't like it. The point, again, is that sports culture is shot through with political meaning and struggle. And unless we're content to stay quiet in the face of bullying, we should make it our goal to speak up and try to change things when sports culture reinforces backward political attitudes that hurt people for no good reason. 